हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे आई विल शो यू द फुल डिजाइन ऑफ द प्लेन द प्लेन डिजाइन इंक्लूड्स द डिजाइनिंग ऑफ द विंग वर्टिकल फिन ओरिएंटल फिन एंड आल्सो द फ्यूज लाज ओके इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन एवरीथिंग like software profile and some videos about the xmplar file how to import and export the files okay in this video i will show you the how to design the full plane so without much wasting time we yeah, just start go to xmplar 5 First of all, you know you need the .dot .dat file of the airfoil, which you are using for the designing of the wing and fins. Okay. For that, you need either two airfoils for the wing and the horizontal fin and vertical fin. I am using two. I am using only one .dat file for all the control surface so go to direct foil design and open that dot dat file open it okay i am using this here foil click it open and go to foil and first normalize the foil okay and after that refine global okay it will ask for panels how many panels you want for the calculations so i am putting something around it panels this will help in the accuracy of the results how many panels you are dividing so click on apply button click okay see number of points has increased and click on override after that go to file and wing and plane design yeah this is the main window of the wing and plane design here you will see this 3d view of the plane this is polar view we need only these two 3d view and polar view so what do you have to do go to wing and plane wing plane menu and click on the define new plane For defining new plane, this dialog box will be there. Okay, here is the main wing, here is elevator, and here is fin. Here is wing two. If you are interested in making the biplanes, also you can put two wing. And here is the body. Okay, this is the vertical fin. Okay, vertical stabilizer. and you can also make two sided fin and double fin so starting with the main wing okay? starting with the main wing what you have to do click on cancel button go to define new wing go to define new wing this dialog box will be appear For making new wing, you need to require full dimension like chord length wing span. Okay. I am keeping as it is. Okay, it's my default value, but I am choosing uh, airfoil. Okay. See, airfoil is showing this airfoil, Boeing 737. Okay. I am using this airfoil. Okay. Yeah, this should be uniform, and also this one also going sound. See, see the cross section. Cross section is like that airfoil only. This cross section. A 
after that what you have to do click on save and close yeah this is a 3d view of the plane okay wing is ready here with an airfoil cross section and now go to current wing edit okay. this will edit the wing section okay. for that uh, click on cancel go to wing and define new plane okay. and go to this one elevator define and I am choosing same airfoil for elevator also click on save and close again go to fin option see dimensions are depending on you for your calculation so I am putting the default dimension okay, you have to calculate first and put the specific parameters to define the vertical fin same f for I'm choosing see the cross section has changed this f and click on save and close and everything I have done I have defined the main wing elevator also and fin also okay. I'm not making the biplane just normal plane I'm making and the body Body, body is not considered while uh, while different analysis we are leaving the body part that's why it's not highlighted and click on close button so, without the fuselage we have main wing horizontal stabilizer vertical stabilizer you can change the positions also depending on your horizontal arm okay depending on the arm arm length of the HD with respect to CZ so how can you change you can change it by right click anywhere in this area and click on current plane and then edit okay, it will come to this dollar box from here you can change the distance okay. so I am changing uh, something 600 Previously, HD was sorry, HVT was slightly behind the HD. Now it's on the HD. So, depending on your calculation, you can vary the distance from the CG. And here it's showing all the parameters, all the like uh, wingspan, how much wingspan you have, x projection of the wingspan. Because you are using rectangular wing, that's why is same as wingspan and how much root chord is there and what is mean aerodynamic center how much mean aerodynamic center is there, and position of the CG and uh, here position of the CG is here this point origin is the position of the CG we are measuring the different arms from that point so this is the uh, design of the plane in the XF lab and you can analyze the whole plane in viscous flow or either laminar flow and turbulent flow okay, depending on the velocities of the flow of the air so analysis part i will cover in the next video so this is the modeling using modeling of plane using the xmlr5 okay. and uh, from here you can after analyzing see this is the analysis box here first what we have to do for analysis uh, you have to go to uh, analysis polar and define define analysis okay after defining the analysis part means parameters which are required for the analysis Okay. After defining the analysis part, this dialog box will be activated. Okay. Here you put the segments and start analyzing. Okay. This will I will cover in the next video. So till then, thank you for watching.
वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो